Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video showing you how to install my Omnisphere products. If you've gone to Multitracks and you've purchased anything that um, is labelled Omnisphere or even Trillion, um, this will show you how to install them. Um, there's been a new update recently from Omnisphere 1.5 to 2, um, but all these processes should um, apply to whether you're a 1.5 user or Omnisphere 2 user or an Omnisphere 1.5 user just upgrading to Omnisphere 2. Um, and I also mentioned that all my Trillion products actually are installed in Omnisphere, they're not installed in Trillion because um, Omnisphere will show patches from Trillion as well. The first thing you need to do is just check for updates. Um, just click on Spectrosonics there um, and click on the check for updates and make sure your system's um, updated with the latest version of Omnisphere 1.5 or Omnisphere 2, which I'm using at the moment. Okay, um, now if you've downloaded a product from Multitracks, um, it may have one or all of these folders here, depending on what product you purchased. Um, and I'm just going to show you exactly where to drop these folders. Okay, so like I said, I'm on a Mac, so um, finding your Steam folder will vary if you're on a PC. But for your Mac users, um, just go to your username. Obviously, it's going to be different than Peter James. Um, go to Library, Application Support. Scroll down to you find Spectrosonics. As you can see, I've tagged my Spectrosonics folder with a blue tag uh, just by right mouse clicking on the folder and tagging it like that. It's just a great way to um, relocate folders that um, may be a little bit obscure. Okay, Spectrosonics, Steam. Without going into too much detail about how to create aliases, um, basically what it's doing is it's just redirecting my computer to a different location for my Steam folder. It just means that I can install my Steam folder on another hard drive um, and then direct my computer to that other hard drive. So that's what an alias is. Okay, um, Omnisphere, Settings, Library, um, and we've got three folders that we need to be aware of, uh, Multis, Patches, and Presets. Um, so let's do uh, the patches first. So double click on patches and this is where you will move and um, drop your Peter James folder. Um, so that will work if this is the first time that you're installing something from my producer page from Multitracks. Obviously if you've already installed something you don't want to replace that full folder because you'll delete or overwrite um, the previous products. So what you need to do if you've already purchased a product, just copy the contents of that folder and drop it into the Peter James folder. Great. Um, that's the first thing you need to do. Now, the second thing is a lot of my products have effects racks. Um, these are effects racks for Omnisphere um, presets to easily let you um, put in all the effects that I use on that specific sound. So if we backtrack, um, and instead of going to patches, we go to presets this time. Um, I'll just mention that the old 1.5 install manual told you to drop it in this place, um, effects, racks, um, there, but with the new Omnisphere 2 update, uh, Omnisphere 2 no longer recognizes third party um, effects racks in that location. So what you need to do, um, if you've already purchased products and installed it and then you've upgraded to Omnisphere 2, you just need to simply either copy that or drag it over into this new location. So instead of going to effects racks, come down, go to user, effects, and then racks. And that's a new location for any effects racks from third party companies um, like myself. Great. So there's one more location that you need to be aware of. Um, if your product comes with multis, um, this is the third location. They're all located in the same settings library folder, so they're pretty easy to find. And as you can see, I've labeled them all with blue, um, so I can easily find them. Okay, um, multis, user, and just drop um, your Pete's multis in there. Um, or, like I said, you can just drag in the contents of Pete's multis. It doesn't really matter how you put them in. Um, you can drag them all into one folder or have them in separate folders. Omnisphere will still be able to see um, the multis there. I'll just mention one last location. Um, with Omnisphere 2, there's actually the ability to import your own sound sources. So in the future, I'm going to produce products where I actually sample things and import my own sound samples in there. So this is the location for any sound sources. Um, it's next to settings library user, and that'll be where you drop that. Um, 
at this current stage, um, I don't have products that have um, sound sources like this, um, but in the future for Omnisphere 2, I'll probably um, do that as well. So that's just where that folder is located. Okay, so once you've dropped everything into the correct folders, just go to um, Spectrosonics Omnisphere, go to the patch browser, um, and just click on this little icon here. It just refreshes the library um, and updates any presets um, or changes that you've done uh, to the library. Um, another thing I'll mention is it defaults to all Spectrosonics. Um, now that's great if you only want to use Spectrosonic sounds, but if you've installed sounds from third-party companies like myself, um, that can get a bit annoying. Every time you open Omnisphere, you have to click on all or click on Peter James if you just want to filter out my ones. Um, but a little handy tip is to go to systems here and startup directory. Just change that to all. That's what I usually have it at. Um, so it just means that by default you can access all patches for Spectrosonics Omnisphere and not just um, the factory presets. Um, so yeah, that's a basic walkthrough of how to install my products. Um, it'll also work for other third-party patches that you're trying to install into Omnisphere as well. So yeah, thanks for watching.